Andrew McGahan for SevierMMA.com here at Clan Wars Fighting Championship, standing alongside for the first time ever, despite being one of Irish MMA's longest serving fighters, the first time myself and Gary Morris have shared a camera screen together. Pleasure. Gary, Pleasure. thank you very much. The pleasure is all mine. A good fight tonight. Unfortunately, maybe the fans would like to see it go a little bit longer, but safety is paramount. So do we, so do we, um, for those who don't know, the fight stopped, well, you'll see it in this video as well. The fight stopped uh, in between the first and second rounds, a doctor stoppage. Where do you pinpoint? What um, happened to De Decky Dalton's face? Where, what happened? It was right before he caught me with the, he caught me with a big overhand right, but right before that I caught him with a one-two. The right hand landed flush, and then we went to the ground. So it was kind of I gave it a couple of minutes before it was actually realised that he had landed it. I guess you know, but um, yeah, it was the straight right. It could have been the elbow. I'm not sure, but I think it was the straight right. Um, obviously you were disappointed with your last results, but do you think today was the day to right the wrong of the previous fight? That's what it was all about. Everybody was saying. Well, Paul in particular was saying, I'm a bantamweight now, and that's where I'm staying. I just wanted to fight as soon as possible. I had the best camp I ever had going into Bama. I had the worst performance I've ever had on the back of it. So completely uninjured. I just wanted to get back in, go again as soon as possible. So on the phone to Paul, Paul, have you got me a fight? Paul, have you got me a fight? Paul, have you got me a fight? I asked for the decky fight. It was a featherweight. Paul was like, no, you're not doing featherweight. You're a bantam now. You're a bantam. And I, Paul, have you got me a fight? Paul, have you got me a fight every 15 minutes? Bantam seems pretty oh, hard to be matched up pro-wise in Ireland at the moment. Yeah, but, you know, I struggled to make Bantam the first time, but that was on the back of trying to cut from 85 kilos. I was completely out of shape, hadn't been training properly, and it led to the best camp I've ever had, but it was tough trying to lose all that weight where I'm walking around a lot lighter now. I'm walk, like pretty close to what we fought at today. I walk around at this, and I reckon Bantam is my home. What is your story at the minute? Are you training with Colin Byrne in Portugal and training with Russia? Are you back and forth between Portugal? Um, Are you back home in Dublin now? Well, I was living. I'm living in Portugal. Yeah. So, living there the last year now. Um, spent the final 10 weeks before Bama in Dublin. But yeah, I've been over there. Um, rough story the last couple of weeks. Um, hasn't everything, believe me, it was. I can say it now that it won't sound like an excuse. It was the worst camp I've ever had coming into this fight. But I was, I was at a certain level after Bama that I knew I could keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. But yeah, there's a, there's an interesting story at the minute. Um, we'll see where it goes. But yeah, living in Portugal. But the previous couple, like, as you're saying there, it was the previous week's training for the Bama fight that spurred you on. Oh, it's like it's I'm the, ready to go in. The only, it's the only thing that got me through even this this camp. I yeah, I've had a very 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 interrupted camp, but. Thankfully, went my way for a change because they haven't gone my way a whole lot lately. Exactly. Uh, a couple of knocks and bruises on the face. Yeah. And I know yeah, you're going to get checked now again in a second, but is this, um, are we going to see the momentum continue forward? Do you think it resets maybe because you had a good camp, bad camp, you need to get the work in now? Well, I've been, I've been working solid for the last six months. Bama was a five month camp. It, that's, it was that. Um, the plan was to try and, I was going to maybe sit back and enjoy the summer in Portugal, but. The back of a, I say nice win. It, it's nice to be Decky. Didn't end how I would have liked it to, how anybody would have liked it to. But things may change. Yeah, no, I have to say that things was that was a fight that I think a lot of people, a lot of casuals, guys that have been around the scene for a long time wanted to see because two guys maybe that could have fought years ago are now finally we're finally getting the fight tonight. We we were matched a couple of years back and things didn't go as according to plan. But sure, this happens. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy to get the win tonight, I have to say. And then finally, hand on heart, let's say the summer isn't as good for you. You don't get to enjoy it in the lovely sun in Portugal. When are we going to see you in there again? Um, You'll see me whenever Paul Kowser tells me I'm in. That's the way it is. Paul is boss. End off. Doesn't matter my location. Paul is key. Paul is the boss. Excellent. I, uh, I'm trying to think now, just to finish on this. Is Luke Caffrey in Portugal at the minute? Did he, he emigrated somewhere the other day? No, I keep Luke, seeing on his Facebook, Luke he's somewhere Spain. sunny. He's in yeah. Spain. Luke is in Spain. It'd be nice to have him in Portugal if you could kind of put an arm around him and yeah. bring him in the right direction, but we'll see. Luke, if you get tired of Spain, sleep on this man's sofa. No hassle. Ah, fuck that, he can have the floor. <laughs> Mind my language. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cheers Legend. Pleasure to meet you. Absolutely. First time for the Absolutely. interview. Absolutely. And uh, hopefully we'll see you very soon. Plenty more of them. Perfect.